Alright. Guys, back at it again. Week number three here. Playing the Buffalo Bills at the U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh, Joe Williams still wants to negotiate that contract, but... What's well, actually pissing me off, right? There's these stupid ass injuries that happen every time I play this game. People like I What was McKinnon doing? He took he took a hand off inside, I think, and he just he tore his shoulder. I know this I know this game, I mean, you know. It's it's a physical game. I get it. I would not have picked Today I would not it's have week seen, three, yeah. and we've got a good one in store oh, between third. the Buffalo Bills and the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, Here comes Ryan Switzer. Oh, way to better take off. And a nice That's return sets start. him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line. Oh, hey, there's a look at the bank. All right, Davis Webb. We got you again. First play right away. Right away, right away. Now a first down throw. Well, no. they take him down. The Bills get to him. Cameron Jordan for some reason, able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. So we'll look here at the key and actors, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Nice play there to force the completion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to Why get the way. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, the defensive teams think they come in bunches. Open man is still on his complete. And he's taken down now before he gets it <laughs> into enemy territory across the 40. Give him 35 yards there on the third down. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference of winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second down, Webb. From that side on target to Thielen. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Yeah, we talked about Adam Thielen a little bit last year, didn't we? A possession receiver, makes some tough catches, gets it done, and he's a homeboy. Threw up very close to the Twin Cities. They showed those possession receiver skills right there to pick up the first. Yo, what? Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. That'll bring us second down. Let's face it, you can run around tree as many times as you want. Get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. 
Okay. And Thielen's got it. Hey, Lee hit. Touchdown oh. Vikings. Adam Thielen, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle with this one. That's field in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it up to 25 on the touchback. Safarian Jenkins or ASJ as his friends and all announcers like to call him because it's a whole lot easier. Second tight end draft in 2014, but production was really lacking until 2017 with the New York Jets at 50 catches, which is more than his two plus combined years with the team made by the year. He lost two there, and it's third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct. There you go, Baker. Carlos Dansby with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now out comes Minnesota. They'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in this seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big time races. Tackle. Means they got out to a oh, fast start. Sure. They're setting the pace, making oh, the other team chase now. Again? How many players are you going to just make me play with all, all reserves? You know? To throw on second down, here's Webb. Flush to his right. Let's it fly for Thielen. Back and back. Falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. How about this offense? Already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 nothing lead, more have to take a shot like that downfield. Well, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try a pressure advantage. Caleb Gabriel can't catch, though. Every single game, he gets one of those. Successful. Ooh, shoulder. Uh, no, that's fine. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So possession one ended in six. Possession two likely going to end in a punt. Yeah, that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue oh, to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to the game plan. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and take it down. That's all right. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. They'll run it again with Fournette. Oh, you guys saw that? See Leonard Fournette very slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. Let's go! Three nineteen. The first carry day for Rex Burkhead, and he'll 
slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the right. football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Vikings holding the football as they take over following the punt with a first and ten. Webb now from the gun. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. I had to get Brown and Ball. Brown is what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on the early downs like that first down there, you need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, he's got a couple more downs to play with. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down Why did I try before to he run? gets into enemy territory. 23 yards on the play. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initials. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. DeForest Buckner getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that is pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Now Webb, and that is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Get a single high. All right, here we go. Throwing on third and long. Webb. He's gonna look deep down. He's got it at the 15. A big play there for Minnesota, and even 40 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. Let's go, let's go. Now a play fake here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. This will be the He's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. We go for a pass. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, oh, and they say he stepped yeah. over. Uh, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage and get off the field over your head. Here's Webb. And it is true, you can draft the fastest, you can draft the most athletic guys, but if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. To throw well. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back to the 22. The six-time pro bowler, Clay Matthews. last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately. I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week, because I think he's found matchups that he likes and he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mayfield on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Pierre Garcia. 
Deshaun, the intended receiver. And it's second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And well, they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On third down, Mayfield. Ooh, the line is after him, and they get there for the sack. Now here's Michael Dixon. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 23. Right. So a change of possession here on the punt. I don't think. They had the field goal last time and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Minnesota. 43 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Two minutes to play here in the first half. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And Damn it. Complete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But second down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Webb now, flushed out running. And he can't oh, come on. on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, they got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You, you can't like aggress it. You cannot. Now on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. That's exactly it. Salvage and we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried, because a lot of times, it's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Compton coming hard from that linebacker spot. He drops it for a loss of 11. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, Depp has been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. That's going to set him back five yards. 
After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. takes a peek we'll take a break now here's Michael Dixon standing about a yard deep in his own end zone but fortunately he's I able to it off. his own fumble or that could have been trouble I know there's no magnet in the ball but sometimes for the punt returner after such a scramble it sort of feels that way doesn't it he has it he loses it Oh, so now nice for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Webb. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Tyson Alu Alu. In there to get him from a lot. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. it away and it falls down incomplete and we will skip the highlight show this week get right back to this week three matchup so we've reached halftime here in minnesota with the vikings on top that's fielded in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they put a jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a better for their defense. They kept them in it by making the plays where they made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Serves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, as they, as they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly. Because Jesus! What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the cheater right there on the break, aren't they? He's got a rifle one deep left side. That's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. Andrew Myers, while the training staff works on him, he'll step aside and be right back. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 23. Here's Webb. Believing the pressure right. They find some open.
up a second and nine. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Mayfield now. They'll get nothing out of that one and it's going to lead to a third down. He likes his family. The Bills on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and nine. Mayfield from the gun on third down. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. But All right, let me throw the music back on. All right. Still over. Over here, the decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. One team on now as this one's sent away. He'll return it from the six. Ah, you thought about Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. Oh, it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there, and now it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, right, now, four yards six. or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Go, nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Throwing again. Webb escaping the pressure right. <laughs> and his throw is incomplete. And oh, Brown, the intended Webb. receiver. And it's That's third down. Can't, I can't run into well, The numbers have been yeah. good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, we'll credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He's able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. 
And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. First down, it's Webb. Flushed out right over the middle here to Brown. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And an alley to run. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Looking to throw on second down. Webb. He's going to fire one deep. This is caught inside the 15. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need I to do this? Just run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They have oh. forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up after the goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think he yeah. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Antonio Brown, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are going to add on to their Back, back onto the field there. now comes the Bills offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running, and just let him bleed the game out that way. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldening the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Time for a break. This one all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Mayfield now from the 50. Left side complete, Safarian Jenkins. 
15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. A first down throw from Mayfield. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's going. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been out of the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. So I can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And Rosas puts this one through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg, and they're at least trying to finish out strong. And now out comes Minnesota. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right? And sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game. And they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field. And now the final stages. Webb to throw. Forced out to his left. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair. Because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A gain of 32 that time. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the time, oh. they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. Roberts. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking no. shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because and this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. Elliott now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And what is no a here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Safarian Jenkins, and that'll bring up second down. Now you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do Let's have go. to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender, but you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. 
And that will be incomplete. As time has run out the ball and on this ball. football on, game. Gotta get it. And Charles, you know what coaches always yards, tell us. Davis, what, we like want to win our home games that much. Of the game. I ran the ball maybe a few times. Well, a design run. 400 yards of offense. Four sacks. I got three sacks. Close. Hey, Adam Thielen. Slot guy. <laughs> Catching traffic deep route, losing his mid route, one block. Hey. Goodness, this is Minnesota State and Kale, boy. Hankins. Hankins. Hankins, I need to be a rush. I need you to be a rusher. Creative recognition, power boost, and strength. Very nice. Okay. Ben Gideon. Gideon. I need you to cover that. players to make you unless they have to do it necessary. Oh, I don't know who you are. Three years, three mil, and a million dollar signing bonus. Whatever, 117. That's fine. Four across the board. All right, well. Kendrick is good to go. Ah, this is what I'm gonna do. Sub packages and depth try stuff right now. Before we uh, wrap up this video, we'll make it subs. Like what nonsense. That's it for this uh, for this week, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me constructive criticism. Leave me criticism in general. Whatever. Leave me some. And I'll read them all. Uh, anything you liked about this video? Anything you think I should do? Maybe put another player in a different package. Run different row combos. Anything like that. Let me know. Love to hear from you guys. Again, thank you for watching. See you next.